Watching this tiny box turtle amble across the grass, you'd never suspect it was 100 years old. She has all the symptoms of old age, except attitude. <laughs> she has little cataracts, and her, her beak is, is um, really geriatrically deformed. Ozzy has been living with the same Nanaimo family for 60 years. The reptile was left at the front door of Carol's home when she was five years old, in a box that read, eats dog food. And that's all we knew. And that's before there was television, <laughs> telephone, internet. There was no way to research any information on, on this creature at that time. So um, Ozzy survived in spite of us. And of course at that time we had dogs and cats and he ate husky dog food. And Ozzy would just walk over to the plate with the dog and the cat and eat the husky dog food. And even our dogs and cats lived a long time. And uh, as I got older and moved away, my mom and dad looked after Ozzy for 35 years, give or take, and then I got Ozzy back, and we've been inseparable ever since. You're such a good girl. Carol has since adopted three more turtles at the urging of a Vancouver veterinarian. Tiffany is 23. I've had her 13 years, and we think Churi is five, and Pumpkin is probably in that range, four or five. The turtles share the living room with the Davies and their dog, Rojo. Ozzy is as cuddly as any cat or dog, and she does demand it. They're not just little rocks with legs. They actually have great personalities and seem to appreciate, you know, what's done for them and demand it, you know, when it's late. But if they're hungry, they'll come out and let you know. They're very interactive when we get company. Often we'll be sitting having dinner and somebody will say, somebody's biting my toe or, or they'll just come out to investigate who's here and then go back to their house. So. However, they require more care than is generally thought. If my brother died in Kelowna, I wouldn't be able to go to his funeral, seriously. Not that he's going to die, but you know what I mean? It's just I am 100% tied down. But if I don't do what I do, they die. The best way to know if your turtle is thriving or not is um, keeping track of their weight. They need the proper food, they need light, they need exercise. Our turtles get what's called a bill sculpting because they don't grind it down in, in nature. So they go over, over every few months and get their bills sculpted so they can eat properly. We like to kill our live food quickly. I take them out here in the yard and they, you know, just let them walk. They need about 15 minutes to a half an hour of sun, not if it's too hot. Um, but they need the vitamin D from the sunlight. Yet, despite the long-term and dedicated commitment the turtles need, Carol says she has never once thought about giving them up. I never gave it a thought that uh, Ozzy wouldn't be part of our life, certainly not this long, but um, we're, we've never been a family of disposable pets, you know, ever. You take charge of something, you look after it, you see it through. I really love them and I would just feel so bad. I can't imagine that somebody got them. Don't eat dirt. You're too old to eat dirt. Carol is in the process of training dirt. someone to provide respite care for her pet turtles so she can take up much needed vacation. In Nanaimo, I'm Annette Lucas.